And they actually called me this time. Like, don't be like me. Like, cannot try to predict who's schedule. Oh my god. Today is the day after Christmas. It's the 26th and we have a lot to do today. I am starting this vlog off at home and today I'm actually on call with the airlines. I have one day of on call and then tomorrow I'm supposed to be heading to Jamaica but I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to go tomorrow because y'all know I fly standby and the flights were pretty full so I'm not really sure about how or what time I'm going to be able to get there. I hope and pray that I'm able to get there. Because I have an Airbnb book that I'm trying to make sure I can get to tomorrow. Because y'all know, I think Airbnb don't really do refunds. Especially if it's last minute. So I'm trying to make sure I can get there tomorrow. But it's no telling because all the flights were booked. I guess everybody got with the Jamaica during the holidays. And they like, they want to go. Just like me and everybody else, so I don't know how that's going to look. But I do have to work at my part-time today, but I don't go there until 2. It's 10.35 right now. I need to put a load of clothes in the washing machine. I have my bag packed for the airlines just in case they call me, so I think I'm going to put that stuff in my car. But they probably not going to call me, even though it's like the holiday time, but I only have one day, so hopefully they don't call me because that's just going to throw everything off with what I have to do today and my plans for tomorrow because only thing they could really use me for is for a turn, but... The airlines can be really unpredictable. And if you get called and they use you for one day, you could get stuck somewhere. You could have a maintenance issue. Then you have to overnight. But I'm not in a rush to get to Jamaica. I just was planning to go tomorrow. So hopefully all of that goes as planned. But we will see how today goes. Um, like I said, I have to go to my second job. I go there at 2. But I wanted to go get my nails done. I need to return some stuff from Shein. Um, I need to start packing. I need to cook breakfast for me right now. Take a shower, then head to the nail salon because I need to get in and out of there. I don't need to be there all day long. So, that's that. I wanted to give y'all an update. I got my hair done. Y'all seen this hair before. I'll add that clip in there. I was planning on starting my vlog the other day, but it just didn't go as planned. I ended up being in the hair salon way longer than I was supposed to. So then by the time I left, it was nighttime and I did not have an opportunity to record anything else that day because I think I came home and got stuff ready for, or was trying to get stuff. No, I don't remember what happened, but I know I didn't have an opportunity to record anymore that day. But pretty much, just an update, I've been on call for the past month. I have not worked. I will show y'all my schedule. I have not worked in a month. Can y'all believe that? I haven't worked in a month. You see all that empty space? I haven't worked in a month. So I'm going to tell you why really quick. So they have been sending out trips, right? But... Normally around this time it does slow down for people on reserve and I just decided I just decided to kind to indulge in the time off and just chill and relax and take an opportunity to be off and not overdo it because once flying picks back up there's no avoiding it especially when you on reserve you have to fly right so I just kind of wanted to just chill and relax like I work my second job and I do my YouTube, I do my TikTok stuff, do everything else. Um, and I was trying to get back in the gym like I told y'all. So I have started a routine. I have been doing better with my eating. I told y'all in my last video that I am nine pounds down. So that's really good and I need to keep up that success, keep up that routine. So I just kind of wanted to chill get back in my routine and prepare myself for the trip this month so i just been relaxing for real i have not been doing much so that's an update on me my life and what's been happening this past month nothing much i just been sitting at home going to the gym every day 
and trying to eat clean as I can and doing my best with that. So, yeah, that's that. So, let's get our day started. I'm about to cook me some breakfast and then we will head out in a second. When I tell y'all, I don't know why I think I can do stuff last minute and still be on time. Y'all, my New Year's resolution is to break this bad cycle of me thinking I can do stuff last minute. I knew I needed to get my nails done before this trip, even before today, because I don't want to have to fight with worrying about whether I'm going to get used on reserve or not. And um, worrying about being able to get my nails done and making it to work on time. I was supposed to leave the house at 12. It's one o'clock. I am like, I'm annoyed. It's raining. It's gonna take me about 20 minutes to get to the nail salon. I'm gonna have to ask my supervisor, can I come in a little late today? Hopefully she's okay with it, but y'all, don't be like me, like, be better than me. I'm learning. I'm learning, I'm learning. One day I'm gonna get it though. One day I'm gonna get it that I have to do stuff before I gotta do it. Before it actually needs to be done. Like this is a bad cycle. It gotta be broken. Uh, But still no call from scheduling. Like I said, it's like one something. I'm supposed to be to work at two. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get my nails done. Are they gonna be able to um get me in right away i don't know but i got everything i got i got everything done that i needed to do this morning except put my clothes in the washer and that probably would have took a second but i just didn't take the time to do it and i needed to return my stuff from Shein. but i'll have to pack that up and send it off put it in either tomorrow morning or i may take it late tonight and just put it in the box Cause we have a little drop box that I have access to but it's raining so bad right now I don't even know where it came from like it was drizzling a little bit yesterday but it's it's bad today so I need to I actually need to put y'all down I'm gonna set y'all up here well not there because you can't see me <laughs> now I'm trying to vlog and drive I normally sit on my little mount but I can't do it right now it's not working but I don't want to get in an accident and I don't want to be not be safe so I will talk to y'all when I get to the nail salon okay bye bye I'm paying my money. So 
so then she goes and takes me in the back. I'm like, I got to the counter and I forgot that I wanted to get my eyebrows done. But I normally get them threaded, but I got them waxed while I was in there because I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that tomorrow. And she did a, a real basic job. Like, I'm the type of girl, when I get my eyebrows done, I want it to look like I had a facelift. And these eyebrows are not giving facelift. They are giving minimum. Minimum effort. So, I'm gonna have to spine my little eyebrow thing and clean them up a little bit. Oh God, I hope I don't have no lettuce in my teeth. Sorry y'all if I do. But, yeah, I'm just annoyed. So she takes me in the back to get, do my eyebrows. I didn't realize she was gonna be the one to do my eyebrows because I've never let her do my nails or my eyebrows before. And she was. So I sat down in the wrong chair and she was like, ma'am, here. And I'm just looking like, okay. So I sit down and she starts doing my eyebrow. Well, while she's snatching the eyebrow thing off the, the wax strip, she's not applying any pressure. Like she was just snatching it and walking off. And you know, normally when they do the eyebrows, they snatch it and then they hold it for a second. How you figure I'm, I'm, I'm true to this and I'm not new to this? <laughs> like, I mean, if you're going to provide a service, provide a service nicely. Don't just do me and handle me any type of way. I don't like that. And I don't like when you go in the nail salon and they treat everybody else nice but you. And I'm not going to say what I want to say, but that's just how I feel about it. Like, you, you spoke to everybody else. You offer well they offered me a water the guy offered me a water she didn't offer me anything the girl that was doing my nails like just just poor service poor customer service i still tipped but not as much as i could have but i was disappointed in my service and i almost wanted to scare her yell out and scare her so she could know that she was she was doing me wrong like with the eyebrows i should have she snatched the thing off i should have said ah you hurt my eyebrows <laughs> because like why are you not applying no pressure and waxing don't hurt me as bad because i get threaded normally but it's still a wax you still are yanking hair off my face so I was just completely annoyed about that. But I did let my, my manager know that I'm gonna be late today to the pharmacy. So I'm on my way there now. I'm just gonna have to stay later than I was supposed to because I'm going in late. So I'm gonna eat my salad. I got a salad from Chick-fil-A and um, uh, I'll probably talk to you guys later. I might let y'all come in the pharmacy it depends, it depends. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. But if not, I will talk to you guys later on tonight because I still have to pack. Of course, I have to pack. I need to put my stuff from Shein in the um, in the mail and then that's gonna be that. I, I'm supposed to get off work at like eight o'clock still no call from scheduling they're probably not going to call me today which is exactly what i wanted so everything is working out so far i just i'm not feeling the nails y'all i'm basic so i mean tell me what y'all think is this pink or is this purple to y'all it's looking purple to me it's giving purple and y'all know the nails the nail um salons they charging an arm and a leg now things have gone things have gone all the way up and i just don't like walking out feeling like i'm not satisfied so i think from now on if i can't do my own nails which i don't know how to do nails but i need to learn if i can't do my own nails then i'm gonna just start going to somebody that's I don't know privately owned or something because I am over the the traditional nails nail shops I'm over it they are not they're not doing what I need them to do anymore so 
that's my little rant. I'm sorry y'all shaky. I did not have time to mount my camera. So I'm holding it in my hand, which I should not be doing, but I had to tell y'all about my little experience. And then it's just customer service all around. Like maybe I'm just annoyed because I went to Best Buy this week to get me a lens because y'all see how close y'all all to my y'all are to my face. I need the camera to be a little bit back. Like I need it to give me a wider view. So hopefully we'll be having that change coming soon. We'll be getting a little bit wider view view where I can get more in the camera. Right now I'm just using my kit lens on my camera, but I plan to upgrade soon because I want y'all to see more of my background and like what's going on around me. So yeah, I plan to upgrade soon, but I went to Best Buy earlier this week to get a memory card and a lens. I was trying to get a lens. I go in the store, I ask the guy, okay, I came in here for an adapter, I think, but I'm not sure, can you help me? And he was like, well, do you have an idea of what you want? And I said, well, I think I'm looking for an adapter, but I'm not sure. So, he goes scrolling on his phone and he's like, well, I can't really tell you what works for your camera. Sir, do you not work at Best Buy? Are you not an employee? I'm just, I'm confused. Are you not an employee of Best Buy? That's like somebody coming on the plane and I tell them, I'm not sure where you supposed to sit. Sit wherever, like I can't help you find your seat. I don't know which seat is A or B. So, I don't know, maybe he doesn't work in that department or what, but I was so annoyed and um, I was like, well, can you please help find somebody else to help me? Because I'm really trying to get a lens today. Um, but they didn't even have them anyway. The, the girl told me they don't normally carry lenses and I don't need an adapter. I actually need a lens. So I probably have to order it off Amazon or something. We won't have the lens before the trip, but I'm going to have a lens sometime soon because I want a wider view. And I think y'all would enjoy the wide view. Like, I think y'all would enjoy that. But I'm going to get to work and I will check back in with y'all later. Guys, I am back. I bet you won't believe where I am. I bet you can't guess. I bet you can't guess. I am at the airport. So they called me. I'm like, sick. I was at work and I noticed that I got a uh, notification about a um assignment hot reserve assignment at like i think it was five five o'clock five oh six or something like that so y'all know they gotta give me two hours so i was like well i'm not gonna notify because it's past the two hour mark they were asking me to be to work at seven so i'm like oh they were asking me to be to work at six so I'm like, that can't be right. So I didn't even, I didn't even worry about it. I kept working at my part-time job, and then once I, um, once I like ignored it, didn't worry about it no more. Another notification popped up, and they actually called me this time. I'm like, oh my god! So they called, and I'm here now. They put me on hot reserve for 8:06, and um. I had to come. I don't like it, not one bit. I would rather have finished my day at work and went home and finished getting all my stuff together. This is why I was telling y'all, I wish I would have used better time management skills because I didn't get anything done that I need to do really as far as packing. I had a whole day to pack yesterday. I didn't pack one thing. And I know deep down I didn't pack because I was trying to do some stuff with my clothes. But I could have packed yesterday. I really could have, and I did. So now I have to go back home. Cause they're not gonna send me anywhere um, tonight. Y'all see that? It's 9:28. They're not sending me nowhere. 
but um I still gotta go home and pack. My friend is gonna let me park at her house so I can catch the plane tomorrow. The closest from the closest airport to me. I can catch that flight at the closest airport to me to Charlotte and then um try to head to Montego Bay after that. But let's just keep my fingers crossed because they could very well use me. I don't think they are, but we'll see. I had my bags packed, so I got on the road ASAP. Like, I just left work, ran home, got my bags real quick, and that's, I got on, got on the road. And that's why, like, you cannot try to predict them. Because it's, I went a whole month without working. Month and a half without working, and here I am. One day on reserve, and they called me to work. So, you cannot try to pretty crew scheduling that like you can't you can't so um so another thing you can clearly tell i haven't been <laughs> to work enough because i got lost in the airport like i'm glad i didn't actually have a trip because i didn't know where to go so i didn't want to go through KCM because I didn't feel like getting random and then having to go to KCM I would rather just go through um, just go ahead and go through security so I had to find security they have added several different escalators they have the normal checkpoint closed off so you had to go all the way there is no A anymore there's a checkpoint one I'm like what is this like I need a map I need somebody to explain to me what is going on nothing is the same everything is different I everything is different like nothing is where I left it when I was here so I'm glad today I kind of had today to kind of see like I need to give myself more time coming into the airport and like I need to get here early because everything is different and like where they have the checkpoint at to get to my gates where I fly out of it's so much further away so it's not like our gate was far enough already like now it's much further but I'm about to sit here chill I'll update y'all in about an hour let y'all know what's happening because I'm gonna try to leave a little early if they will let me and um I'm gonna get some work done while I'm sitting here and then I will update y'all in a second. All right, y'all, so I didn't check in. I was trying to get some work done, but I got a few things done while I sat on high reserve and it's coming to an end now. So I'm about to start heading to the exit and making my way out of the airport. I also didn't update y'all because my phone was dying. So, um, I meant my camera was dying, so I need to let that charge so I could update y'all. So this is that. So I'm about to make this long drive home. Y'all look at the, the birds. Uh, make this long drive home and I will talk to y'all tomorrow because we will start the Jamaica vlog tomorrow. Let's see how my journey goes. I'm supposed to be flying early morning, so I'm probably not going to be at the tonight. Um, yeah, let's see how that goes. But I'm going to end this vlog right here because once I get on the road and get to get home, it's nothing happening but packing and trying to make my way to the airport because I'm not going to sleep tonight. As always, it always happens. I always say I'm gonna do better and I always end up staying up late, but I'll have three hours to sleep um, when I get home. So, so yeah, I'll, when I get on the plane, I'll have three hours to sleep. So, I will check in, talk to y'all later. Of course, thanks for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you don't miss anything that I post.
see y'all later.